All right, we are at Cedar Grove Church in the cemetery. Also used to be known as a uh, town of theater. Apparently there's a lot of security here, so I'm not going to trespass too much. But um, yeah, there used to be a town called Gator here back in the 1800s. And uh, it was kind of a smaller, smallish place with um, a few settlements, a church, a school, part of a, uh, a couple different establishments. And I think we can go in. Our security cameras, <laughs> apparently. So I won't uh, interfere too much. Just walk around. But uh, yeah, it was around for a little bit. And uh, the only remnants left are the, well, actually just the cemetery, because this church here um, burnt down in 1935 and was rebuilt in 36. But uh, Hasn't been used in many years. Uh, the cemetery itself has been around for a while, pretty much since the beginning. You see, like Carl T. Ham here, 1898 to 1987, World War One. There's all kinds of names around here. Date back a lot farther than some of these that we see. I don't know where I should... Okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't walk anywhere I'm not supposed to. Let's see here. 1891, 1963, 1902. I'm sure if we went a little further this way... Uh, I don't want to step on anything. Here we go. 1856, 1928. So... Yeah, there's really not much left to this place. Step over. I don't want to... I feel it's proper not step on any of the actual... I guess, graves. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been looking up a bunch of uh, ghost towns around the area. And, uh... Found out this one wasn't too far away, so check out a couple on this side, and we'll take a look at the church itself. We're obviously not going to go inside, because that wouldn't be right, especially with all the security measures. So, um, to find this place, it's uh, south of Ocala, uh, south of... County Road 484, which leads to Denellen. Um, some much older stones here. 1876, 1874. So this town was probably around for a fair bit. It's an interesting set over there. I guess if I slip in between the headstones. Yeah. JL Jr. was only a year old. Like way back here, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's off, um, uh, I wish I could remember the street names, like 147th or 167th. It's 1885 to 1912, right there. And these are cool. 1904, 1906, I believe, for that one. 1843 to 1916, back there. 1832 to 1908, a little further down. Yeah, to get here, if you're coming from Ocala, you go south on 200, uh, past 484, past uh, 
Bell Largo golf course. Uh, past both the golf courses that you uh, go past there. Um, but Bell Largo is like the last one right before the, the road. And it'll be on your right. It's a dirt road, so you kind of got to keep a close eye out for it. If you uh, cross the bridge over the Withlacoochee, you know you just missed it. So, yeah, here's the church. Like I said, the original one burnt down in 1935, according to what I've uh, looked up. But um, it was rebuilt in 36. I guess it was been in use off and on until a few years ago. And it just hasn't been used since. I'm not gonna get too close here. There's a water pump over here. I guess we can take a look at that. I wonder if this is an original feature or if this is a little bit more recent. Like if it goes back to uh, 1800s or not. Uh, there's. 782. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. But, uh. Check out the other side of this church. There's not really much left in terms of ghost towns of Florida. At least not around the, uh, the Ocala area. There's a. Was it Care City? which is somewhere in the county. I think it's out in the forest area. I don't know if you can see anything in there. I think you can see the reflection of the phone. It looks like there's some things in there, so it's probably still in use. Today's a Tuesday, so I don't have to worry about church services. It's a shed. A little Camaro on that headstone. So I guess it's still kind of in use, just very occasionally. So yeah, figured I'd head out here and take a look at this. Um, like I said, there's not really much left, much else left of this place. Apparently there were a couple other settlements around the area that kind of worked together. There's a gator, which is more or less where we are now. Uh, Cedar Grove, which I guess was right next door, and they kind of went hand in hand with each other. And then there were two others that I unfortunately don't remember the names of. But uh, I think there was uh, Fort Izard. Was that Fort Izard or Camp Izard? I think it was something like that. And then there was a fourth one that I don't remember, unfortunately. Check out the sign real quick. The road apparently continues into the forest over there, but we're, we obviously can't go that way. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth, believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. How convenient that bird. <laughs> All right, we got one last sign, and then I'll sign off here. Not sure if I'm going to uh, check out too many more of these. It depends on how the weather is. It's uh, January, but it's in the 70s. So it's getting kind of hot for me. Interred. Dedicated to the memory of those veterans interred here at Eternal Peace. Hmm. See, I think I'm going to uh, sign off here then. This is Cedar Grove, also known as the town of Gator. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching. 
and uh, maybe we'll maybe I'll see you uh, at the next ghost town. All right, so I'm out by the Dunell in the airport. Just kind of driving around. I knew that there was a, a ghost town type area around here, but I wasn't really sure where it was. And I actually have no idea where we are exactly, but I found this. It's a single headstone. And uh, it says T Bay, T B, uh, Jesser. Uh, born August 10th, 1841, died August 20th, 1909. And according to these stakes on the ground here, it looks like there were a few more than just this. So this might be the site of, uh... oh yeah, here's the, uh, the end of the grave. So this might be the site of um, that old town. Looks like there's some more stuff down there. I don't want to trespass too much though. That stuff looks kind of modern. Yeah. Some spools in the distance. Maybe we could go take a quick look. But yeah, I heard that there was a, uh, a thing like, there's a ghost town around this area. And um, they had this Approximate uh, this approximate location uh, coordinate, but didn't have anything official. Yeah, this looks a lot more modern right here. I don't know what it is, but we won't go much farther than this. Yeah, I won't bother with any of this. It's pretty interesting, huh? Looks like this general area could have been the site of a uh, of one of the ghost towns here. It's a shame I don't remember the name of it, but um, I'll probably put it as the title of this little clip um, or in the description. And uh, if I knew the exact coordinates of this location, I would uh, let you know. But the Denellan Airport's right there through those trees. So, yeah, pretty interesting find. It's unusual that that's the only headstone here, but, uh, yeah, by the looks of it, this is where, uh, one of the towns were. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Huh. Alright, guess I'll see you uh, if I find anything else.